Perfect. All right. Okay. So it's just a little quick section here. Um, hi, I'm CPU with Gay, also known as Richard. So whatever. Anyway, uh, Austin Mots has been an important part of you know the games. It's been a big important game I've been playing since it came out on PC. I've been I saw a TV's video and I was like, you know what? I like it looks cool. I think I could like it. So I started playing. I fell in love with it. Um, so yeah. And then I just kept playing and didn't stop. And at one point, the hope was to actually just play in the competitive leagues and stuff. That never happened for whatever reason. Most likely due to the fact that the communication was never there and it just never got rolling. So, but all right, well, what else, what else can we do? We can try to even get involved with the APL in some way. It didn't work out. And there was like, well, when replays go live, I could actually do some game discussion about, you know, what is happening during a game and discussing builds and all the fun compositions and stuff like that. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I don't know if any of you guys watch Day 9. He does kind of this thing for StarCraft. So I thought, well, why don't we try doing it with Awesome to see how it works out. So this is very much open to change thing. This is my first time doing this. I will do my best. And let's get into the game. Let's just do it. If I can just find my... Oh, there it is. Great. All right. So here we have, I'm just going to discuss my overall setup really quickly. Alright, so. Game. I think it might have crashed. No, game, don't crash. Um, pretty sure it crashed. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, oh, there we go. All right, so BBQ coming from the left side of the map, playing on the red team is BBQ. They are composed of Raylan, Yuri, and Skulder. And on the right side of the map, in the blue, we have Team SKC. 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 All right. So usually you see this kind of standard, you know, Skulder, Yuri, Raylan build, kind of in the more older uh, competitive league scene. Uh, it's really good for keeping control over the map. You usually see Yuri put down mines over here, up here, and immediately we head to the middle on Serona because that's just what tends to happen with this kind of team, with this kind of game in general. Uh, Serona, this is what usually happens. You go to the middle, you take control, and eventually one team gets the kills and takes the lead and usually ends up pushing to win. That's just how this map works. All right. So the thing about BBQ's comp... Usually, this is an older kind of competitive build. We would see people, you know, put mines on bottom, just get rid of those waves, just keep control, and just prepare to push. That's what would just be a thing that would happen. However, SKC has come out with a comp that is Coco, Vinny, and Leon. I can't use words for some reason. So what happens is you get Coco to put pressure on with the beach ball, and you have Leon and Yuri either initiate. It, it can mix it up. It's it's just a comp that works like that, right? And they come in for kills later on in the game. Alright. So you'll see this guy going up and down, just taking... That's, that's just Yuri play in general. So they're putting on some great early pressure here, but... SKC just... I think this is a really cool, like, just... Assassin comp. You usually just overwhelm and just get kills just... Pretty well, pretty easily. Alright. So... The game starts off in BBQ's, fa BBQ's favor. No. But a lot of pressure comes in from the beach balls. And just the harassment from Vinny and Leon is fantastic. Alright. So the game moves on. It's a pretty standard early game on this map. And then this first kill in favor of SKC. 1-1 one, one tied, 1-2 one, up for SKC. Tough losses. Usually you want to have Skulder there so you can tank and take a few of those hits, but he is not doing too good at that. Let's, not, let's just be honest real quickly. All right. So this is the part where the pressure comes in and Blue just kind of slowly advances here. Just because of just those two great pickups from SKC. So typically, with the bar with the BBQ build, you're just going to want to just drop mines everywhere, 
and then control with Scolder. And then Raylan picks up the kills with Snipes or Yuri with Laser. Or Scolder with Punch. That's usually how it works. But, matchup on a build that is just as aggressive, if not more aggressive, it doesn't really work out. And just boom, Leanne is right here for this pickup on Mace Makus. Excellent. So that is just the strength of the of SKC's builds. You know, we see just Coco playing straight up Coco, nothing special yet. Just Blaze, Beach Ball, Movement Speed, and Regen. Leon is playing, you know, Tongue Grab. He's playing with with Tree. You don't really see that too much in competitive leagues. And Boots. Mainly, you want Tree. It kind of acts as a crutch if you can't get the amount of solar you need going. So you do that, and it makes you level just a bit quicker, just so you can get the bit more head on those upgrades, just so you can get fed a bit more quicker. You know, that's about what it does. You should see Magneton taking that place doing the same thing. And Boots as well here. Uh, we can see Leon is saving up his solar, probably going to go into Magneton, or the double, the, the really good tongue upgrade when he gets a 21. Probably going to go into that. And Vinny is just playing straight up Vinny. You know, he's got Dive, Smoke. Uh, solar, solar, solar cloud, and solar heal, solar crab burgers. That is what we call them. Coco almost going down here. This is just how this works. You just overwhelm your opponent with all the damage from Leon and Vinny. This is how it works. It's a really solid comp. So that's all Coco, cause she. Arkeo plays an absolutely stellar Coco. As someone who plays Coco a lot, just awesome. Cool thing about playing Coco on this map, you can actually get a few of those vertical beach balls down. Uh, people usually get used to seeing them horizontally coming to angles like this every now, most of the time. But when you throw them in vertically, it gets a bit tricky to dodge, only because you're not used to seeing it as much, right? Mine's going down center, as is standard from all Yuri's in, ever, in all existence ever. And then just BBQ just slowly getting pushed back the entire game just from all of the pressure that SKC continues to drop. Actually, we see Leon not go into Tongue Down, which he's going to take tongue, <laughs> tongue Stretcher and Chainsaw. So he's going straight for attack damage. You usually don't see straight into attack damage. You usually see strong upgrades first just because it's a bit easier to pick off kills that way. But he is going for more straight up Leon play, which is good. You don't really see that too often. I think he actually goes into Lifesteal later in the game. Lifesteal, very good. It's been coming up more and more popular up in the upper leagues. That's an awesome beach ball. Just, just stellar. Stellar. Now, whenever you're up against Raylan, you're always going to want to try... I missed that kill. Gosh darn. You always want to try to get those kills with snipe or just snipes in general from solar because she does have solar she took piggy bank and solar snipe you don't really see that too much usually doesn't work out too well but that is exactly what this comp is good for it's good for overwhelming and picking up kills throughout the entire game until you just push and win because they're already up by two kills six minutes in you know it's it's pretty hard to deal with this 10 comp but you have to you have to like isolate them which is really hard because they're always going to fight together that's how this comp works best you know now, it's really hard for a Scolder to be useful in this kind of matchup because Scolder is really good at 1v1ing and, you know, controlling more easily controllable knots. Like, Vinny is hard to control because he can fly around everywhere. Uh, Coco, she's just really good against Scolder. <laughs> um, Leon is okay against Scolder, but it's really hard for Scolder to make himself useful just because Coco and Vinny are here, just constantly putting pressure. And he doesn't have much, he doesn't have a lot of health, he can't take a lot of hits. So it's really hard in this matchup for Scolder. They're just struggling to stay in the game. Because, ugh, oh, it's Keo. Or Keo just doing a stellar job as Coco, man. And right when I say that, it's horribly murdered. Alright, we're the levels right now. We have Leon at 9, Vinny at 7. So they're pretty equal, equal right now, 7 minutes in. Ties are pretty close. Kills are pretty close, not ties. 
What am I saying? Yep. Again, barbecue trying to get their. I'm oh, sorry, BBQ. Barbecue. Eh, same thing, right? Just trying to get their push going, but it's just getting shut down so quickly just because of the burst that Leon and Vinny and Coco all have. It's not like one giant burst, it's all little bursts. Here we go. Oh, she's getting away. Down bottom. That's cool. That's totally fine. Nope. This is just a solid build for applying pressure and continuing to push. Because Coco can do whatever you want to do. Like, right now he just got double double conductor. Which is Coke, one of Coco's best upgrades by far. It's like, if you're applying a lot of pressure and you need to get kills, and you build in the beach ball. If you want to just keep pushing, then you build in the your, your glaive, your conductor, you know. Coco is such a great all-around knot. You can just change her for any situation. Not many knots can do that. They're like, oh, you want to get, want to get fast and close? Upgrade your blaze. You want to push turrets more? Upgrade your auto attack. Want to do more burst? Upgrade your beach ball. It's as simple as that. And in the right hands, with a good comp like this, Coco is just she's the one who makes the breaks the team basically, just because she sets up so many kills. And she picks up knockback at some point. She's got it yet? No, not yet. Let's go back and check out that kill. I just missed it. Oh god. Alright, okay, there we go. That mainly happened just because of the amount of damage that both of them do to initiate, and then either of them can pick up the kill because it gets so low from the little pieces of burst. This is such a great comp. Just boom. Another one right there. That's how this comp works best. Apply many little pieces of burst. And then you just pick up kills left and right. It's great. It's a mean comp. Especially if you're playing together. This is great. This is great not play right there. You know, uh, Vinny and Coco tend to just break Scolder, which kind of sets up all the kills for BBQ. He hasn't been able to set anything up because they're all really small, really agile characters. So it's really hard to utilize Scolder for what he does when you can't do that. You know, he can, he's good starting off that Earthquake is pretty good in the early game, but then people get regen and it's kind of hard to actually make it useful from then on, you know? That's just the fact of life. Boom, pulled in, near a dash, and then beach ball. Just, just everything hits you. And they're pretty good, you know, except for Leon. Some are pretty good AoE attacks to do a lot of damage. Let's turn off chat. Let's do that. Cannot get it. You see how everyone gets really low, though? Just like that. Just insta bursted and just destroyed. And this is the part of the game where, if I can remember the team name, that'd be great. KVC just begins their push and eventual victory. Because you cannot just constantly just deal with this amount of pressure. Um, Yuri and Skola tend to be a bit too stationary to deal this kind of pressure very easily. You know? It's funny, I, yeah, because it's just pressure. You have to go back and heal up. It's just a really mean comp. It's really good. Speaking of knockback, knockball has been purchased. So that's great when they're behind turrets. You can just pop in front. It's great. Coco is the Yuri killer, you know? You can displace Yuri so easily with just being you and having that knockback. Knockball is a very good upgrade. Just <laughs> like that. Pulled in, dashed, just stabbed, and bubbled to death. Because you get so low from the initial tongue pull and the dash. Yeah, he's playing straight up damage dash. He doesn't have a uh, piggy bank on the dash yet. Oh, speak of the devil, we just got it. <laughs> so, when it comes to making comps, you really want to consider how all your abilities synergize together. And KVC has done a phenomenal job of that with this game one. It's like kills and level difference. You don't really see the level difference, but 
With all the kills, Skolder has just been falling farther and further behind, making Yuri and Raylan do more. Which isn't really good. You don't really want that. You kind of want Skolder to get the beginning of all those kills. And when he's absent for a lot of the game, because he's dead, it's really hard to do that, you know? Now, this is kind of your standard, you know, pro build. You don't really see that too much. I don't know. There haven't been many pro games to look at, but I remember from when the APL used to be more of a thing, you would see this kind of control build a lot. And that's kind of what it was set for then. And you don't really see that too much anymore. No! Get out! Did she make it out? Yup. She missed that, but she got it. <laughs> she lived anyway because of regen. Regen is a wonderful thing. Even with the base regen. So good. And this is about to go down soon. Just tremendous, astonishing good play from KBC. Just great, just synergy, and just dominance on the field. Which is, is what you want overall in Knots game. You want to keep control of the map. You want to be able to push when you want. You want to be able to pick up kills when you need to. And they've been doing it the whole game. And BBQ has not been able to do that because, you know, they haven't really had the opportunity to, to throw anyone. Even when they get a thrown, it's really easy to get away because I believe. We saw earlier, Coco has already speed up on Blaze. This is an awesome play right here. Check this out. Beach balled out. And then layer AA down. Fantastic not play. Bomb turret has been taken out. And this is more or less GG. Uh, on Serona, it tends to be, you know, after that main struggle for the mid happens. And the turrets start falling. It's going to be eventually GG in favor of the team who has done that. You know, we saw BBQ got some early pressure on the turrets, but it was not enough to get enough of a push to get them stuck behind the turret. You know, Coco's really good for that. So, more or less, game's basically done, and it does end up going in KBC's favor. You know, that's just the way Serona works, you know. Buying all the items in the world. Ooh, Godfish. Or God, the Codfather. Frat, they changed the name of it. You know, you just want that for the push ability, and just, oh, when you have a Leon who's going to attack damage and then lifesteal, and he's buying health, he's more or less invincible at that point. That's the main problem with lifesteal, Leon, is that his sustain is just ridiculous once you get it going. You know, it's like, you're all by answer, oh, I'm stabbing all of you, that means I'm getting all of that lifesteal for me. You know, lifesteal Leon has a very mean, consistent build. They've just been farming and getting kills the whole game, and eh, we're, just gonna, we're gonna go ahead and fast forward because we've been talking about this for a while now. Because it's just, it's just inevitable. The way that um, this comp is, it's not really good. You, it's best when you already have an established push going, and it's good to keep it consistently going. But if you never get that push going, you're, you're not gonna really go anywhere, are you? That's just the way it is. Skulder's not the best pusher. He's not the best at picking up those early creep kills. As we can see, he does not have a lot. Raylan easily, usually has the most. And just, ugh, the pressure is so real. Level difference is more apparent now. KVC is up by about mm, three to five levels apiece, right? Still, they're way behind on levels. Level 12, that is not great. That's probably because he died many a time. Both him and Yuri have died about six, seven times apiece. And we're going to go ahead and fast forward again because we kind of already know where he's headed. The final push comes in. Or not. They did a great job of defending as long as they did though. But this is GG right here. They got a wipeout. Maybe not a wipeout, but they got a few kills right here at this point in time. That's applying pressure, doing what they do. Because they are so far ahead on levels. And that's G G. Alright. Well. So what did we learn from this game right here? We learned that team composition is an important part going into a game. So whenever you're going in solo queuing and you see those people already who have knots, you're always going to want to try and play off what they have and see if you can get a bit more synergy going that way. That is what we pulled from that game. Cool, I'm going to go to break now. <laughs>